Hi guys, today we are looking at uh, installing code blocks on Windows uh, with the MinGW uh, compiler uh, using GCC compiler. So the first thing that you can do is you go on to Google and then you say install code blocks just to be able to find uh, the code block uh, binaries. Uh, you'll see that here you get the code blocks releases. So I've got the website already open and then uh, what you want to do is you want to install code blocks with min uh, gw okay so uh, you go to any one of the sites uh, and then you can download uh, the file once the file has completed downloading the next thing that you want to do is to run the exe file so that's what i'll just do and the file is downloading and then you find uh, in your downloads folder, for my case, the file would have downloaded. So I'm going to run uh, the exe uh, for code blocks. Okay, let's bring it here. Okay. Let's just give me a second. Uh, my installation file has disappeared. Okay, my computer is just becoming a bit slow here. Just give it a second while it comes up. Okay. When you run your EXE, it asks you if you want to install, then you just proceed. And then you get the prompts. Uh, you click next. You agree to the license. And then it gives you a location uh, where it's going to install. Just accept and then it runs. Okay. Does take a while. After it is done uh, installing, it will ask you, "Do you want to run code blocks now?" We can say no. We don't want to run code blocks now, so that we can configure our environmental settings and um, configure the GCC compiler. Okay. Now we set up the in uh, the environmental settings, and in order to do that, we need to check the path on our local machine where we installed code blocks so i'll just navigate to the path so you can see program files code blocks mean gw bin and then we copy that path and then we get our environmental settings uh, you just type environmental settings then it says edit environmental settings in here uh, what you want to do is uh, under the user variables uh, for myself, you just click uh, path and then you say edit and then you can enter a new environmental path. Okay. And then you say, okay. 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 So I'll just show that step again. Environmental settings. Um, you go to environmental settings and then you go to path. And then you click edit and then you say new and then you copy paste it okay so that will make uh, your computer be able to detect uh, the compiler after that then we can run uh, code blocks uh, itself uh, let me start code blocks so before we run uh, code blocks let's check uh, that gcc compiler is installed we go to the terminal and then we check our gcc compiler version if it gives us a response we know that uh, everything is set up correctly after doing the environmental settings we check the version of the gcc compiler now i'm going to open uh, code blocks code blocks will open and it should be able to detect my compiler automatically which is the ming gw that we just installed let's just give it a little bit of time on it. It's opening. Now we can test our code blocks. Uh, let's do a, an empty file that we can uh, just run uh, to make sure that everything is uh, working. C++, uh, hello, C++, let's call it that and say uh, uh, let's see file name with full path uh, let's just uh, choose our path 
Okay, and then we say finish. <clears throat> and then we can start uh, just doing a basic uh, C++ program that uh, can test that everything is running using name space standard library int main let's just uh, do a program that prints out uh, something simple welcome to the C++ programming and then we can just uh, return and then build it now yes okay there we go our compiler is working <clears throat> and Ming GW is installed and our program is executed if for any event in any event your program um, does not run because the compiler cannot be found and your mean GW is not being detected uh, there's a few options that you have uh, just uh, let me do this you go to your settings okay and then you go to compiler and then you click reset defaults and then you click OK and then it should pick up your uh, Ming GWW GCC compiler. Okay.